Okay, I'm here today <clears throat> to look at a lawn that I'm going to refer to as TB's lawn. Um, it's a lawn that has uh, a number of mature ornamental flowering trees, um, plums, and others. And the, uh, the understory of this little grove here has, uh, has declined the whatever tar turf was here seems to have senesced um, and been taken by various undesirable broadleaf weeds. <clears throat> it's like there's probably some raised bed organic gardening going on here which is always nice to see. No backyard. Um, it's just a rather good sized front yard. But again, um, it's uh, there's just not much desirable turf here. At least it's not it's not evident um, some naturalized area over here. And T said the property line was pretty clear. I guess it probably is. There's a, there's a two water meter covers there. So generally it will be right between those two and then a, then going back. I'm guessing this large tree is on the property and then that crepe myrtle in the distance multiple canes trunks rather is in the is on the property so uh, this this portion here again is under dense shade and has thinned to where there's not much left so i'm going to uh get my core and tool and poke around a bit and get a feel for the, the physical properties of the of the soil here collect some cores that I could send off and have an analyze for just find out what the biology and the soil chemistry looks like and try to come up with a plan a blueprint for reestablishing a lawn here just assuming that that's that's the task that I've been selected for and green thumb organic lawn care is sufficient to that task. So, we're signing off. Mike Poole out. <laughs>